Welcome to Sunshine, why HV McKay matters. To the uninitiated, Sunshine is sometimes referred to as the Frankston of the West, a working class town of colourful people with dodgy dress sense. To locals at home, an eclectic mix of culture and race, a modest place with everything from cinemas, Centrelink, law courts, two Woolworths supermarkets located across the road from each other, and every variety of fast food chain you could wish for. For an urban suburb, Sunshine also has a curious obsession with agriculture, grain harvesters in particular, and it's all because of this guy. How did this man come to shape Sunshine as we know it today? In 1885, H.V. McKay invented a harvester that efficiently performed the laborious task of separating the wheat from the chaff. It revolutionised agriculture, and H.V. McKay set up shop in what was then named Braybrook Junction to produce and transport the harvesters throughout the world. He named the harvester Sunshine, from which of course the town went on to take its name. Business boomed. At its peak, 3,000 workers walked through these gates each morning into a factory covering nearly all of town. McKay brought up surrounding land and mortgaged it to his workers. He built Albion Station, schools, local bowls club, public halls, a library, and established public gardens, all for his workers' benefit. Six days before his death, he laid the first stone for the Presbyterian Church, which still stands today. The story of H.V. McKay is one of generous benefactor and industrial genius, but there is another side to this tale. H.V. McKay didn't invent the harvester alone, but in a team with his brothers. And they weren't the first to make such a machine anyway, but merely the first to market it. It would take 20 years from this invention for McKay to move from Ballarat to Sunshine. Before this, the family business was forced into liquidation, with McKay left with just £25 to his name. Some have suggested that his purchase of land was actually an astute business move to tie his workforce to the area. And these gates? These were the gates that McKay used to lock out workers in the middle of a union dispute for equitable pay and conditions. McKay defeated the union within three months, with strikers missing that year's harvest. So what are we to make from the official and untold story of H.V. McKay? And why does it matter for Sunshine today? Well, this is all that's left of McKay's factory. Dumpster diving birds and vast empty car parks stand watch over the rest. History is only useful so far as it provides context and meaning to those living. The unemployment rate here in Sunshine is 12%, near double the national figure. The local area has the highest rates of gambling losses in Victoria. Sunshine is a place of relative disadvantage. Yet Sunshine is also a place of new beginnings, with over 40% of residents born overseas. The real story of H.V. McKay is one of hard work and enterprise, of starting where you are to building something bigger than yourself. He wasn't a hero, but along with his family and his community, he built a town that outlasted himself and his company. It's a story as relevant to Sunshine now as ever.